Alright, we're up for the challenge. Here we go. Hopefully this is the last video I make for this season of the Backyard Basketball Playthrough. Facing off the Trash Talkers for the PBA Championship Trophy. If we win this one, we knock them out. And we're the left with... And the league is left with us being the last one standing. So let's get going with this one. Starting line at the set. Game 3 will commence. We are away once again. And hopefully this one is the last one. So didn't get the tip. Uh, it's not really a tip. I guess it's more of a jump. And they come out guns a-blazing it looks like. Knocking in their first attempt of the game. Knocking down their first three I think of the series. I think they, no, they don't, I'm not sure if they've ever starting lineup or not. Uh, and that is, we're still not taking the lead yet, but two points right off the bat. Jacinda with the steal, Jacinda with the George Gervin finger roll from the block. You know, I kind of like my gravy a little bit lumpy, though. And that's a steal by Stretch. Try to work it in the post for him. He's going to take it. He pulls up, knocks it in. Spreading the wall today, all three players, three baskets. One for each, that is. Knocked away by Stretch, no foul. Jocinda pops right after the steal, no good. And this guy's not outrunning Vicky Kaguchi, no siree. And somehow we have the empty benches again. Our, our teammates just, you know, they don't believe in lack of, and I can never hit that shot from the steal on the left block. I just have no depth perception whatsoever. And Vicky Kaguchi with the steal. So yes, back air hockey will be coming up soon. The MLB started the other day. Cubs unfortunately took a bad loss the first game. Ryan Dempster getting robbed again. Great game, 10 strikeouts, but Kerry Wood and Carlos Marmol weren't able to finish the game off. And I will be starting backyard baseball up in the summer sometime and backyard soccer a little bit after hockey. Just depends on when I get stopping on holy ground up in Command and Conquer Renegade Walker. So get it into stretch and I'm gonna do I'm gonna call a timeout once I get across half court here. And before I go out of bounds. And Ahmed playing down low. That's kind of a strange sight to see, but see Justin we're gonna have to make. Ahmed Khan pulls up the set shot. Nothing but net. And what is this? Driving all the way, maybe. No Josina Smith on the court, we just lose our glue. And that's an overthrow by Vicky Kaguchi. You don't see that often. That is not a three-pointer. They vaulted, I guess, over the three-point line back into pretty three-point line distance, but I guess that counts. It does. And uh, I haven't talked to you, but um, last time I recorded a video for back here basketball uh, playthrough, the Kentucky Wildcats took home the NCAA championship today, or not today, um, this week. And I think, yeah, they definitely were the best team in the um, NCAA Division One this year, bar none. I mean, they 30. Two losses all year, one in the SEC final, one to Indiana in December. They dominated all year long. They have about four pros in their starting lineup. So they definitely were deserving from a talent standpoint and a performance standpoint. So I had no problem with them winning. I'm a fan of the um, more of the underdogs, but you know, I kind of want to see the team that is deserving of the, of the uh, championship to take it home. That's how it should work. Um, but once again, I, I kind of think that the NCAA tournament is kind of a little bit watered down. I don't think there should be 64 teams. Some people, I know those teams are awesome for their conferences, and they're still great athletes and great teams, but when it comes down to it, it's going to be the big boys in the finals. The exception of, I don't know, Butler, Davidson, George Mason, um, Penn, you know, there, there's been a handful of mid-majors. The last time a mid-major was to win a championship, 1991, with the 
um, running Rebels, UNLV. But I think it because what I'm trying to get down to is that the regular season really doesn't mean as much as it should in uh, NCAA basketball. And that's a foul. They knock down the two as well. And it's easy for a team that performed great, uh, you know, had a great season in the regular season and weren't a Power Six conference to go down quickly. I think there should either be some more series in there, two out of threes occasionally, uh, depending on the round, or there should be at least later in the tournament. And there should be less teams giving the teams to perform better in the regular season. Let less less at large bids. I think all conference winners should get into the tournament, but less con uh, at large bids. That's what I'm getting down to. So we have doubled up the trash suckers here in the early going. Carlos Ocampo knocks one down. Hits the dead spot in between the backboard and the rim. Get out to Vicky Kawaguchi. Get out to Stretch. He's rim running. And up by 10 again. So not giving up or giving up more points than we have in the past. But looks like we have a commanding um, lead right now. The first shot goes up and it rolls off the back of the rim. Or the other side of the rim, excuse me. Swatted right away. Get that out of here. And that's a steal. Stolen back by Justina Smith to see if she gets a better shot this time. Blocked again. Great defense by them trash talkers today. Vicky getting jiggy with it. Two points. So I'm going to call time out here once I get the opportunity. Not quite the atmosphere we were looking for in a game three of NBA or BBA finals. That's a foul on Vicky. She's got 14 points. She's just racking them up today. And that's out on Tanya Uchida. And we're going to call a timeout here. I'm going to let the clock go down to 49. And I don't know what it is, but Vicky Kaguchi's really got the energy today. My other players are wheezing a little bit, and that's a, not a good pass by the baseball star, Stephanie Morgan. He's got one assist on the day. Pass into Carlos Ocampo in traffic. Vicky Kaguchi dribbles it out. Stephanie Morgan's ahead on the break. She's going to have two points for herself. No! One of the only times this year that a layup... Those for sure layups go off the rim. And that's two points on the other end for the trash target. It's a four point swing right there. So I'm going to try to make up for that. Stephanie Morgan get in the mix. That layup better go in. It does. Five seconds left on the clock. They're not even able to get a shot off. They don't. Right at his feet. Tiny Uchida, get out of there. And so we're definitely, we've shot, uh, they're, they're pretty efficient on the offensive end, but we've been, I'm going to check the minutes real quick. Uh, they don't show it, dang it. Um, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go with this lineup right now. Um, but uh, what the heck? Oh, how is he in bounds? Oh, my goodness. Passing clinic. The passing clinic for the trash talkers. Carlos Ocampo finishes up that beautiful sequence. Don't tell me that's off. How is that off? That is the weirdest development of an inbounds pass that I've seen in a while. And no, a big two-point opportunity for the trash suckers goes nay. And it looks like they're getting themselves back in the game. They, oh, what a stupid pass by me. I'm very rusty right now. Worst game that I've played so far in the series and probably in the playoffs. Stephanie Morgan, get up. Redhead, oh my, Redhead is playing his heart out in the second half. We're running again. Vicky Kawaguchi with the block. I haven't seen that a lot, a lot this year. Two points, and they're outscoring us. Six, they're six a 6-0 run here to start off the second half. We're going to guard. Oh, another steal. They have the defenders all over the, this parquet floor today. Knocked away by Vicky Kaguchi. Get in, get in there, Alexis. And I'm gonna have to call a timeout here. I'm gonna get clocked down a little bit, and I am just struggling right now. I cannot get any points for myself, any good shots. That is, and I'm gonna get stretched in there. Josina, get yourself in there. Vicky Kaguchi needs a little break. Although Stephanie is the one that has been throwing the steals and the ball stolen. 
And unfortunately, we have one of these other pauses that I'm going to have to call a timeout and come back and start recording again. Once I can corral my mouse and call a timeout here. There we go. And I'll see you guys in a second. All right, we're back at it. Hopefully things are going to run a little bit. What the heck? So uh, things are... And I'm playing in Sandy... Whoever their home court is, I have no idea because I hear, I'm hearing like waves in the background or a car. Yeah. And they're gonna tie this game up. I'm shaking a little bit here. My uh, Snagit is not recording well, and they better not get the, they get a freaking three-point play on that. All right. All right. So I don't know what the deal is. Maybe my guys have a little bit less. Energy, we got some stats taken away from us. They have some added to them, uh, their their total. Stephanie Morgan gets the rim, puts it up, and we got the lead again. And once I call a timeout, we're going to get the ambiance of the court back because everybody's silent. Jocinda pops from the middle of the paint, and we needed that. I need to spread this offense out a little bit. I thought I had stretch position there. Get steal. Yes, yeah. Stephanie Morgan with the mid-range jumper. No, she doesn't hit those very often. Stretch, it's three fouls. Be intelligent, stretch. Use the giant afro. Oh, pick it pocket lady there. So in her versatility, off the glass, the kiss. Jocinda Smith. Passes the ball. Nope, DB wasn't working there. This person just gets the ball knocked away. They plays a sloppy game. It's effective at that time. We need the MVP to take over. Set a little rub. Oh, set a, trying to get a shot on the baseline. Not happening. Stretch with the steal. Stretch with the pop. Stretch nails it. And we're on a little 9-0 run right now. Trying to settle the score. And that is either going to roll out of bounds or I'm going to pick that one up. We're going to let that one sit and we pick it up. Clock. Stephanie Morgan trying to go from baseline to baseline, all 94 Number feet. Five, left on the clock. Three Stephanie seconds left on the clock. Lines it up from outside. Back rim, no. That kid's cooler than Frosty McCoombreeze. And freaking game is slowing down on me again. Well, it seems as if all that's standing between me and this trophy is a um, disobedient computer. Well, Vicky pulls up. I did not want her to do that. She pulls up from short and is short. Oh, but gets a steal. Gets stolen from her right away. They're fighting. They're clawing. I thought I was going to get a sneak steal there. Did not pull it off. Oh, my gosh. Second time this game that's happened. Own rebound. Puts it back in. Alexis Weiss. No need. Oh my goodness. She's got paws. Stealing basketballs like they was going out of style. Took one out of your book, Barry DJ. Snatched away from Jocinda, and if they make that, they've taken the lead. Scary to think that. Oh, but Vicky's here. So is Ahmed. Who catches that cleanly? Are you scaring me for a second? Take the lead again. I don't like this ambiance. It's not helping me out. And this could. Jocinda can get a shot up. Thank you. I mean, it is kind of disconcerting seeing how we're playing right now. Not playing too great. Thankfully, it's the last game that we're going to be playing through this playthrough. I don't have to keep up that streak of great games. Oh, Ahmed. Rim running. Not really. More like cherry picking. Now we got a five point lead and it's getting awfully dicey for them, but this is ain't. And now it's time to just stall. Stall the clock. Kill the clock. Eat the clock. Carlos Ocampo is a beast though. I gotta check out his steals. His defense. Dials it up from downtown. 4-3. No good. That's a long rebound. 75% of the shots that are taken from one side of the rim will rebound off the back of the uh, will rebound off the rim and go in the other direction, as we saw there. So Ackman dribbles to the cup, stolen again by Redhead. I've had enough of you, and they're gonna draw within one. All right, so at 48, 58, I'm gonna time out and take our last time out of the season, hopefully.
And we're going to put in stretch, even though I don't want to. And two ball handlers. Put uh, Stephanie at the point. She's got a little bit more juice in her tank. Risky pass down low. And that's too high for Stephanie Morgan. Get it into Carlos Ocampo. And stolen by stretch. Alexis Weiss, great defender. Pushing stretch towards the sideline. Stephanie Morgan, if we can knock this one in, could seal the victory, seal the fate. And she lays it in, three-point lead. Pass to himself, Carlos Ocampo with 20 points. Doesn't come through there, and we can almost hold for last shot. They would have to hit a 80-footer if they get a rebound. Get the ball away from freaking Carlos Ocampo. Get it into stretch. Get that away from Redhead. Three-point lead with 12 seconds left on the clock. We don't have to take a shot. Vicky Kawaguchi scaring me. Five seconds. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two. One. And that's it. Vicky takes a victory lap around the court. And the Rim Riders are going home with the BBA Championship Trophy. Classic. sentimental video there a good video put together by our friends at Humongous Entertainment for us to commemorate our 3-0 whooping played a great game though the trash checkers did but we go out on top three games to none to claim the BBA championship April 6 2012 it is Good Friday and it's Good Friday for the Rim Rathers as well as they are as they say we are the champions the city celebrates with parade and ice cream party the Rim Rattlers are the backyard basketball champions of the world. I had an exclamation point in there for them. The Rim Rattlers won the finals 3-0. to zero. Rock said afterwards, we're going to Walter Weasel World or something. I feel like I've read that, befo read, read that before. I didn't see nobody going to Walter Weasel World yet. And I'll let you guys watch the credits here.
So a little easter egg there, enter Barry DJ into your custom player, you get yourself a good player. Figure it out, just like Thor Herring. So, if we look into the trophy case, we might as well, before we end this playthrough, to commemorate all we've done, it is ended with styles, we take home the splendiferous basketball championship of all backyards ever, here on April 6, 2012. So thank you guys for sticking with me all the way through these 25 games that we played. We got knocked off once in the regular season by the Chuckers. Buzzer beater by big old Keisha. But that didn't hold us back from taking home the ship. So thanks for watching once again. Hope you guys had fun. I will be doing Backyard Basketball 2004 season playthrough next year when basketball season rolls around again. Stay tuned for some more Backyard action. Uh, right away I'll be going with Backyard Hockey, followed by Backyard Soccer, and then Backyard Baseball um, sometime in June. So... Look forward to that, and thank you guys again for watching the season playthrough. See you later.